Hey guys, welcome back. Did you wish in Shaper 3D we had an offset face function? Uh, well, we don't, and I'm not sure if we will. But let me show you a quick and dirty method that might work for your project. So, first of all, let's see how it works. We're trying to offset the face. We don't even have the option to offset the round face. We can only do the flat sides or the flat faces, and the reason it says up there, it has to be a planner face. So what we need to do is we select the object, click copy, and we scale it down however much we want. So for example, in this case, 80%. And then we go ahead and move it up just a little bit, not too far. And then we go and tools project, and we project that face onto that other face, make sure it's selected on edges, not sketches. And then we click done. Now we delete the face we don't need, but we can play with our new offset face. Hope this helps. Hope you guys learned something new. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.